my beautiful Virgos. Hi Virgos, I'm Rena Wells, I'm your Divine Goddess Oracle, and if you've come to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're new, hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm sure there's something here for you if you're returning. Welcome, I am back. Oh, from, I'm going to have to do a video soon, watch out for this guys, I've had an enlightening, amazing week at Ayahuasca with my twin. Um, some major, major shifting going on in the collective, but let's get started with your, your monthly here for the next two weeks, April 1st, sorry, I know I'm a little late, I did come back with a cold, <laughs> go figure, um, but yeah, let's start with your monthly, April 1st to the 15th, Twin Flame, Soulmates, whatever you, whoever you're thinking in your connection in your soul connection we're going to take a look at masculine energy feminine energy recent past that's feeding into the present and into and then we're going to look at the outcome in the near future so let's take a look this is for sun moon and rising and venus for my virgos Aho. let's bring down the container for virgo spirit please bring down the blueprint anything that is not in alignment to the mission of peace and love and harmony on the planet May that energy be transformed and put back to where it belongs. Uh -huh. Let's see. We're going to get some love romance. We're going to see one from the top for the masculine, one from the bottom for the feminine. Let's take a look, guys. Virgo, this is your reading. And please comment and like and subscribe, guys. It really helps circulate these videos around. I'm on a mission. A mission of love. A mission to help people. All right. Let's see. Okay, and if you want to know anything about me, everything's down below. All right, so, sorry, masculine energy. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations coming, guys. Masculine wants to open up, start uh, talking a little bit more. I've been seeing a huge shift in the masculines in the collective, for sure, including with my own twin. <clears throat> masculines are starting to be, uh, they're having this huge awakening. They're starting to come out of the woodworks. Um, if this isn't happening for you and, and, and you're not feeling this, um, you know, just know that it's happening in the collective. There, there's uh, things happen. We need to understand that just because it happens to one person. So people are at different places in the collective. You know, some are the trailblazers, some are, you know, right at the bringing up the rear. The rear is just as important as the, as the trailblazers. So don't think there's ones more important. So if this shifting is happening and you're truly in a divine counterpart, this shifting will eventually happen too. So, so hang in there. Okay. We've got here the subconscious, um, the feminine here in honeymoon, enjoying going away together. So, um, you're either going to be traveling to see each other. So this is what I'm getting here. Okay. There's going to be either some talk about coming together, some heart to heart, open conversations. Should we be seeing each other? Should we go somewhere together? Do we need to travel somewhere? Do we need to take time alone together? Even if it's just going out for dinner, doing something. So there's going to be some type of shifting that is happening there. Uh oh, that's amazing. Let's take a look at divine masculines. And when I pull from the bottom of the deck, guys, just be aware that that's just some subconscious patterns that are kind of driving and forcing and bringing into um, conscious action, okay? That's what, and the conscious action are the cards that I pull from the top. Okay, Spirit, can you please bring down the container for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for April 1st to the 15th, please, for my beautiful Virgos. Oh. Awesome. Ooh. Let's do one more. And we are good to go. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so what's feeding up into the connection here? Recent past, we've got illumination. Look at this. Becoming illuminated to this connection, to this two of cups, to this relationship, okay? And wanting this union. What? They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So subconsciously, deeply inside of them, they are starting, that's feeding up these conscious patterns. That's why they've had to go within. They've gained enlightenment around this, okay? They've had to walk through the dark. Look at this temperance. They've had to gain balance in this, a reconciliation. Um, balancing their emotions with the earth plane. Uh, really going in and finding that light. This is beautiful. And bringing a small offer of love and an apology if an apology is needed. So this is in the recent past. So this is going to feed into the present. So if you haven't seen anything or heard anything, it's feeding into the present. Okay, this is the awareness that the masculine has recently come into. Really beautiful about this connection, about um, going within, balancing, wanting union, and having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the divine feminine. 
feminine. So they've recently come into this type of awareness. This is why they want to talk. They want to have these heart to heart conversations. They want to discuss their feelings. They want to be open. What? What? Energy. That was, I've done quite a bit and, um, dang. Um, maybe we should use a different deck. That's what I'm kind of getting. So, you know what? That's exactly what I'm getting. They want me to use my vice versa deck. So, just hang tight. Let's let's put this aside. <laughs> that was hilarious because they're like all discombobulated now. So, hold on. I just brought these out. I'm still unpacking. Like seriously, I just took these out of my suitcase and just cleared them. So that's probably why. All right. Divine feminine. Let's take a look, spirit, for divine feminine. What is going on with the divine feminine in the recent past for Virgo Sun Moon and Rising for April first to fifteenth, please? What is going on with the divine feminine? Okay. April 1st to the 15th. All right. All right. One more, guys. We're going to take a look here. All right. So, what is feeding divine feminine from the bottom? Fast communication. Really want to have some fast communication about the pain that you've been in. Okay. And um, having some level-headed of what you've been cutting out, being very strong in your stance, and how you want this communication to go, okay? You want to communicate about the pain. You want to have this communication about, um, you know, feeling, what, you're, what you've been feeling, what you've had to cut out of your life, the growth that you've had to go through. Um, I'm feeling you're feeling that you've been tired, you know, this hasn't been easy. Um, we've got what's feeding that is how you've been manifesting. See, this pain that you've been going through, Divine Feminines, in the recent past is feeding this manifestation to build something more and collaborate and be a team player with the universe and with your calling, okay? Because it's a new cycle that you are bringing in. So by you doing that, you want to be able to have this fast communication. That's been feeding um, a lot of what you've been doing in your life and during the separation with your masculine, okay? Um, because I do feel that there is a separation here because there is some thing here about moving uh traveling coming together um something in the in that way okay um and this is also about traveling and, and coming together and collaborating and networking and manifesting this kind of teamwork okay this is about mission as well i feel that these feminines are really about the mission work we've got that the pain here that you've recently felt was really the catalyst that really drove you and how to you know properly you know communicate communicate this i feel like you either have to communicate this pain which you haven't or you would like to and you want to talk about what you've had to cut out and the growth that you've had so i think i feel that these heart to heart conversations are going to happen and it's elevating you into you know kind of going away with your with your divine masculine so right now in the reasons past here you guys were very separate i don't see a lot of mirroring that was happening a lot of these readings have been showing a lot of mirroring but we're gonna we're gonna keep going and see what happens but um in the recent past, I feel that like there was some really major separation here for you, Virgos. Um, you both really had to go in your own corners to do some work. Uh, there wasn't very much communication. And that's why you really want to communicate really quick now. Like, you, you want to get on that. You want to, like, say, hey, this is what's been going on with me. <laughs> um, that's going to happen. All right? Just hang tight. Because they had to really go within and balance. Your masculine had to really go in and balance. And, and your feminine's masculine had to really work through this pain deep pain uh, unfortunately feminines have to kind of hold the template down as the masculines rise so we got a lot of clearing to do but that's brought in this new cycle and and that's what's now going to bring forward the present let's take a look at the masculines of the present and then we're going to clarify <coughs> excuse me guys i'm still getting over this cold so please clarify please uh, bring down the container for the present for the masculine energy spirit thank you aho so presently, let's see where the masculine's at. Then we're going to clarify before we do the outcome. We've got, yeah, um, subconsciously, they, they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you, okay? They feel that maybe this has taken too long. We've got four of cups, some apathy. They've taken too long um, with their transformation. We've got the death card, and we've got the three of pentacles. Um, so we've got here. Now we've got some mirroring going on, okay? Because here, we've got the feminine here with the three of pentacles, wanting to network, wanting to be a team player, wanting to work with her masculine. And here, now, masculine wanted to work with his you know with his feminine um and maybe feeling like he's missed an opportunity here because he had to go through this major change he had to end a lot of cycles in his life so presently he's he's still ending those cycles but thinking damn did i miss this opportunity did i miss this 
Um, let's see what's consciously happening. So yeah, the there's still the, the, the wheel of fortune is still turning. Okay. He's having a little bit of worrisome feelings here saying, I don't know if I've missed my opportunity to network with this beautiful feminine. I don't know. I'm planting seeds here. I'm hoping for the best. Okay. We've got, yeah, using intuition, using their intuition, working through their dark stuff, transforming their pain and really standing their ground. Um, during this change, being very vigilant of who's coming into the vibration is what I'm getting during this change because they're more vulnerable, because they're more using their intuition now. They're more tapped into what's going on. This new cycle is now turning. And so they've had to be very defensive who's coming in, who's coming out. And that's probably why you haven't really heard from them because they've had to keep their vibration very clear. And they feel that because I've done that, they may have missed an opportunity with you. Okay, with their divine feminine. Um, let's take a look and see what's going on with the feminine. Feminine. Sun, moon, and rising here for Virgo. What's presently going on with the feminine energy? Then we're going to clarify all this, guys. All right, and then we're going to take a look at the outcomes. <clears throat> What's going on with divine feminine here for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus, please? In these sacred connections for April 1st to the 15th, please. Aho. All right, let's take a look here. Oh my God, what's going on with my fingers? What happens when a channel. <laughs> I lose like physical dexterity. All right. So yeah, look at this reconciliation, a renewal of self here for the feminines in the present moment, because they've been going through this. Uh, the masculines have been definitely going through a transformation for union. Look at this and marrying this. What did we have down here? Subconsciously. Okay. In the recent past, the masculine has recognized that within himself. We've got that right here. Four of ones. All right. Four of ones. Um, yeah, sorry, just let me just fix this because I'm an anal. I'm an anal. Well, anal. All right. Um, but here you've got this now that's coming up also in your subconscious that's feeding into this a renewal. Um, things have been a burden for you, okay? So you may not be aware of this reconciliation that's coming, a renewal of self, um, and this union that's coming forward, this nice foundation, but it's going to happen in and out very fast, passionate energy, and you're going to become illuminated to this and about how to contemplate and move forward and plan and make decisions for this. So with this heartfelt communication and, and coming together, you guys, this is really beautiful because it's, it's union that's pushing this up. There's, um, a, a decision that's being pushed up into consciously having this passion, having this sensual, excuse me, sensuality and this illumination of how to move forward. There is some, still some burdens here that's happening. And I feel that's because you haven't quite heard from this masculine or communication is sparse, um, because they've been really held back. Okay. They ha they've really come into an illuminated state um, and they really want to come forward with this and have this type of communication with you, but they're still, um, still working through some of this change. Okay. There's subconsciously, there's still a lot of death cycles that are still ending. So they quite haven't, you know, and there's, that's why they still have this defensiveness that's still going on. They're still using your intuition of planting seeds and wanting to work with you, but they're, they're still sad here. Like the cycle has gone forward and they're sad. They may have missed that with you, but they haven't. Okay. Let's get some clarity here. We're going to clarify. All right, spirit. Whoop. Let's take a look here. Can we please clarify the recent past for the masculine here in regards to this amazing awakening that they have for Virgo Sun Moon and rising from April to the 15th. Let's take a look here. Whoop. Oh my gosh. What is going on here, guys? No. On. All right, one more. All right, so let's see here, spirit. Clarify here this illumination that the masculines have had in the recent past. Um, that's you know that they've yeah that they've had this uh, gone into hermit mode. Um, yeah, they've made just decisions here, guys. Justice is being served here. They want this connection. They've become illuminated. You've got the sun here too. Look, okay. That's in the subconscious and consciously the feminine is being, um, in the recent past, the masculine has had this sun. Okay. Becoming illuminated. And here in the present, that's now feeding into the feminine of becoming illuminated. Do you see how the connections are happening? You know, it's always mirroring. That's how you know it's a true counterpart. Things will always mirror back. Um, so they've become aware of this connection balance um, in the recent past. They've made some just decisions. What else, Spirit, can you clarify in regards to? Yeah, 
they were in pain. They were in a lot of pain making these decisions and ending these cycles out. Um, and that's why they had to kind of hold their vibration back, okay? They had to learn how to work through that into before they can make these decisions, okay? And so because you didn't hear from them, they were they were really in a lot of pain. And you may and Spirit is saying you probably felt that as well. Okay. Um <clears throat> yeah, they had to hold a lot of strength and withhold themselves. Okay, before they looked at their options here, okay, in the recent past. They really did. They had to hold their strength, tame their ego, sit back, try and, you know, relax, mentally look at things, emotionally look at things, look at their different options, and then make their proper decisions. So it was a very taxing time for them, all right, in the recent past. Let's take a look at the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine in the recent past, Spirit. Yeah, look at this. You had to make decisions, too, out of your pain. You had to contemplate things. You wanted to communicate this. You had to cut things out. You had to start this new cycle on your own. You had to manifest things. Even though you really want to teamwork with them, you had to kind of do it on your own. And um, you, had to kind of, you had to move forward. You had to make the, those decisions and contemplate things. Because, look, you've got the cycle again. The world twice here, okay? You've had to, you had to bring in this new cycle. Remember? If you go back in some of the readings... I remember there was a time when a lot of feminists had to bring in the cycle. This is kind of reiterating that. Um, yeah, and, and you have went through a lot of crap through this pain, you know, but you're still standing. You're with the wounded warrior, but you're still standing here, okay, for this spiritual calling. You're doing the spiritual work, um, and you've made decisions to end entrapment. Slowly moving. You're slowly moving, but again, you've got the judgment card that's a spiritual judgment, a spiritual renewal of yourself to get rid of you feeling trapped in your life so you could slowly move towards the spiritual calling. Really beautiful feminines. Okay, so presently what is going on here with Divine Masculine because they're feeling that they've missed a chance with you, alright? They're feeling that with the Divine Feminine they've missed a chance. They're using their intuition. They're still doing their best to end cycles here, okay? They know and that's why they still have a bit of a defensive this. They're, they're kind of like on guard, you know? Yeah. We've got a new stable beginning that they want with Divine Feminine. Look at this. They're walking through this forest. Now, you're walking through a forest, kind of getting nighttime. You're going to be on your guard, okay? They're going through still some dark stuff. They're still transforming a lot of this, but they're doing this because they're realizing they want something very stable, all right? They're recognizing that they want something stable. Clarify the Four of Cups here, Spirit. Clarify this Four of Cups. Because I don't I, that apathy there, like they're still feel they're still kind of sad. They're looking at what they've lost, and I miss my opportunity with the, my divine feminine. You know, was it? Um, they want to still come and offer, clarified by offer the Knight of Cups. So they still, even though even though they feel they may have missed out, they want to still come forward and offer something towards you. Okay, we've got. Um, let's clarify here this death and being defensive, being a little defensive and standing their ground here. We've got, yeah, they're working really hard at this change, okay? Working so hard, you guys. Working hard at transforming. They're really working hard at, you know, ending conflicts, okay? Darkness, the moon, okay? Ending the dark shit in their life. They're putting an end to this so that they can properly manifest and come forward and ending conflicts and walking away. So they're still, they're still working on that presently. Which is really good because they want the stable beginning. They want to offer this. And they're, they're working really diligently and hard at this. Divine Feminine, you are having this passion and sensuality. You've become illuminated. Um, you, you, you are wanting... Um, this reconciliation and union, and you're moving towards making decisions toward that. Please clarify, Spirit. We're also going to clarify the Ten of Wands here, because this Ten of Wands, look at this, we got passion again. Damn, you feeling some sensuality, girls? And I mean, I, when I say gender-based, please take it with a grain of salt, because I know that feminine energy can be in a masculine body, and, fem, you know, it's, it's just... I'm not good at using they and them, and I should, because I have a transgender daughter and all that, but I'm sorry, it's just how I channel, and it's just how my brain works, so it's hard to just make that switch. Okay, so a lot of sensuality here, all right, feminines, a lot of sensuality, you're becoming illuminated to this, illuminated to that union, you may be feeling that this peace that's coming towards you, please clarify a little bit more, Spirit, what else for Divine Feminines in regards to this renewal? Yeah, moving away from dishonesty, look at this. You've been moving away from things that aren't serving you, things that are dishon that are, are shady. 
And you've had to put that, that was this healing that you've had to do. You had to cut things out in your past. And that what that's moving away from things that are dishonest, things that are manipulative. You're done with that. What is this burden, this 10 of um, wands here? Because I'm wondering why there's still a worry there. Why this just feels like there's burdensome that's playing in. And I feel that's a block that's definitely happening with you, Divine Feminines. What's going on with this 10 of wands? Why is there a burden here? Why is there a burden here, Spirit? Whoa, that went flying to the other side of the table. And get this. Okay, get this. Remember we talked about the Divine Masculine having some, where was it, some apathy? Where was the apathy? We talked about apathy. Why am I not seeing no apathy here? There was apathy, but clarify here that there's some apathy here. You're looking at what you've lost. Oh, yes, over here. The Four of Cups, down here. Where was it? Yeah, in the present here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Four of Cups, same thing. You guys are mirroring, okay? In the same position too, okay? So <laughs> you're burning some worried that you may have lost an opportunity as well. So let's just get over that because you're both worrying about the same damn thing. And here you want to... You know, you, you want to move away from this shady stuff, okay? Get rid of that. You're both worried about it. You're both mirroring that directly in the present moment in the same position, okay? So no more apathy. You're worried that maybe you have lost this opportunity that the universe has given to you. And Spirit's saying, nah, nah, nah. But you haven't lost anything. Can you please clarify, Spirit? Please clarify this apathy. Can we, how, what can they do to clear this up, Spirit? Have hope and believe in the destiny, okay? And heal that. Heal that shit, girls. Heal that shit, Divine Feminine. Heal it. You heal it, they'll heal it. It works. It really works that way. Go within and gain illumination, okay? Pull yourself together. Go in and know that this is coming. This is coming. Two of Cups, okay? Two of Cups with your Divine Masculine and communicating this and having communication about this heart-to-heart. -heart, the heart-to-heart -heart coming together, all right? Really beautiful. Um Okay, so I mean this, and when I say this happens between the 1st and the 15th, I mean this is the start of this cycle that's happening now for you coming into the 1st to the 15th, okay? Um, let's see the outcome here, guys. I need a sip of water. Just let me take a sip of water. All right, we're just going to allow Spirit to bring the cards out. And it's just done intuitively. All right, Spirit. What outcome for the Divine Masculine for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising April 1st to the 15th, please? Outcome, please. Near future. Near future. All right, let's see what's going on. So you can see little things that are, this is how the progression that's happening, the path, the recent past is going to feed into the near future as well. So you've got to kind of make the connections. It's not so stagnant, you know, like this is the past, this is the present, this is the future. It's like a, a feeding, like a, like a, like a, a growth, like a root that takes root and kind of grows up. It's kind of like, you know, they're all, it's all connected. So you've got to find the commonalities between that. All right, Spirit, can you please give us a few cards here in regards to outcome here for the Divine Masculine? <laughs> Seriously? And not that many. Not that many. I don't need that many. That's a little too much. A little too much. It's some powerful energy coming through for Divine Masculine here. They're really transforming, really ending cycles here. What is going on here? Thank you. Yep, tower for the Divine Masculine. Okay, so the outcome, they're still going through some tower moments. Things are falling apart. I feel they're holding their stance in this, okay? Yep, they are going still through some heartbreak, all right, through the shadow work. So they're still doing some shadow work. And we saw that here with the death card. So they're still ending cycles. I mean, these cycles take a while to end. But they're doing it for the spiritual calling, okay? They're having some passion and sensuality as well, definitely. But they are moving on, Eight of Cups. And they are planning for the future, okay? So they know that this heartbreak, that there's darkness that they're going through, the tower moment, they're allowing it to happen. They know that this needs to happen so that they can move forward and plan and to and feeling. And now their passion is starting to be ignited in them again for the spiritual path, okay? They're feeling something a lot more deep inside of them. Let's see the outcome for Divine Feminine, okay? All right, Spirit, what is going on with Divine Feminine here for the outcome? is going on here for Divine Feminine, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, April 1st to the 15th. What is the outcome here? Near future. Okay. Yeah. Look at you guys are mirroring Eight of Cups. 
Oh, sorry. Nine of cups. Sorry. I lied. This is eight of cups. Nine of cups. <laughs> moving on to something better no this is the wishes fulfillment and an offer so it's going to be a small offer okay something small you know and i think that could be like hey let's go out let's meet up let's you know something there's going to be a small offer here um but it's going to be your wishes fulfillment okay we've got a few cards here look at this with your masculine being a very grounded masculine and communication coming forward working really hard at keeping your balance okay so keep holding that stance uh divine feminine you are definitely still working really hard your divine masculine is working hard too we had that over here that they're working hard at ending these cycles you're going to still have to work hard to holding that space um for this wishes fulfillment for this new offer that's coming forward for the stability all right that's coming forward they are moving on to new things they're still going to be in heartbreak they're still clearing stuff but they're in a better place than they were before okay they are feeling the passion again they're feeling the zaza zing they're feeling you know that they need to move on to better ground here they they're allowing the tower to happen in their life ah oh all right let's pull an angel answers as what is any additional advice here spirit for my beautiful virgo sun moon rising and venus please bring down the container for april 1st to the 15th any other further advice here please spirit all right one more and we're going to shuffle so what other advice can you give our virgos here for April 1st to the 15th in regards to this connection, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay? Look for signs, guys. Trust the intuition, all right? Trust with what's being shown to you, okay? We've got to trust in the Spirit first before how things are physically manifested. That's exactly the message that I'm getting. Look at this. Listen to your intuition. Can't make that shit up. <laughs> Listen to your intuition. You got to look at things before, you know, um... To spirit first before how they're physically manifested. That's how this, that's how these connections work. You can't look at what's physically manifested at all. It's faith, okay? You're right on time. Just wait. You're right on time. Oh, it's not the right time. Sorry, not the right time right now. You gotta wait. Okay, you go look for the signs. You use your intuition. When you do that, that is gonna bring all this stuff together. Okay, so try not to get hung up in how it's physically manifesting. Okay. That's your advice. Much love, Virgos. If you like that, please share, like, and subscribe. And my show, uh, Journey Home, give a lot of advice and readings and all that stuff next week, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you would like a reading with me or to work with me, take a look down below. All my information is down there. Love you guys. Have a great one. Bye.